Hello and welcome to another episode of Science Corner with Constantine. Uh, I'm still Constantine. This is like, I, I'm at like a slightly different location for the Science Corner today, specifically because I wanted to use this table. Science table. With Constantine. So today, we are going to learn about a new piece of technology called the fold scope. And by the way, if you're from the fold scope, if you're like a fold scope um, company person, you can feel free to sponsor me. I will be your spokes girl. Thank you for in advance. Um, so this is the fold scope. So this year, in addition to using traditional microscopes, we thought it might be fun to change it up and use these as well. Okay, so every year in science class, basically up until now, we've used a microscope that looks like this. So this is a really nice one. These were actually donated to us, so thank you. You look through the eyepiece here, you put your specimen on the stage, which is here, and you focus it using the adjustment knobs here. This microscope is an excellent tool to look at things close up. You might have a plant sample that you look at and look at the cells. You could even look at your own cells using this microscope. But this year we couldn't really use these microscopes in the same way because of safety reasons, because our configuration is laid out differently. And so I was trying to figure out a good solution, you know, something that you could take home if you needed to do work from home. And here's the solution that I came up with thanks to the internet, this little device called a fold scope. So fold scopes were specifically designed by a company that wanted to make microscopy more accessible to everyone, especially to kids in schools that don't have as many resources as our school. Fold scope company has come up with a cheap alternative that magnifies almost as well as this beautiful microscope to my right. The fold scope only costs a few dollars to make and it's pretty easy to use. This one I bought unassembled and I actually cut it out and put it together myself. Your fold scope that you're gonna get in class is gonna be in one of these cases. And in that case, you will have a fold scope that's already been put together for you. That's why yours is gonna look a little nicer than the one I put together myself. Your kit is also going to have a field guide, some stickers, that will help you attach the microscope to your phone. We have a magnifying glass and light little tools um, that can help you take samples or collect samples and um, learn how to use the fold scope. Here we are with the focused game cam. Here is my fold scope. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is locate your sample slide. So in your kit, you are going to have a plastic container that says fold scope slides on it. Open it up, yours is gonna be a little bit smaller than mine. But I want you to take it out. You should find a slide that says fern rhizome. This is glass, so be really, really careful with it because if it breaks, it will cut you. The edges are kind of sharp and do not drop it. So the first thing you need to do is load your sample onto the microscope stage. So in order to do that, you need to flip your fold scope around and open the back. So this is the front, is the blue side. You want to go to the orange side and you want to open up the back. So this is magnetic. You just want to open up. Your sample is going to be loaded in this direction. So we're going up and down. We want our words to be facing the front of the microscope. So you're going to make sure your words are facing down and you want to slip it through the top and the bottom. So on the stage there is a flap here that opens and a flap here that opens. There is an opening in between and that's where you're going to put your sample. So take it, make sure the words are facing towards the front of the microscope so you should not be able to read the words fern rhizome. You're going to slip it through the bottom through the tab, underneath the paper, and then back through the top, pull up on that tab, that will help, and it's going to fit snugly in there. When it's in there, though you should see there's a circle on the slide, line up your circle 
so it is lined up to the black circle on your fold scope. You can close the sample in. Now you've loaded your slide. So now you can look through it. To adjust your fold scope, you can see that there are actually places here on the side and the side for you to put your thumbs. So when you hold it, you can put one thumb here and one thumb here. By doing that, you have the ability to slide your stage up and down and side to side to make sure that your glass slide is fully underneath the lens piece. The lens is right in the middle of the blue side. Now, to look through it, all you have to do is hold the fold scope up to your eye. Right now, I don't see anything. That means I need to either hold it up to the light so you can see through it better or focus it using the focus bridge. All right, so when I think I can see something, even if it's not perfectly clear, but I've held it up to the light and I get a pretty good image, then I'm gonna focus it. So to focus it, you use this tab right here. That's the focus bridge. So you can focus it by moving this bridge from the side to the side in order to get a clear image. Oh, look at that. I think I might actually take my glasses off. Oh, nice. So with my glasses off, I can see it really clearly. I put the lens right up to my face, hold it on each side, and use this bridge to focus. Put these back up. But what if I want to see it a little more clearly? Then I can use my phone. So in your fold scope kit, you will have one of these little black pieces. This is how you connect your fold scope microscope to your phone. So I'm gonna use my phone. I can either use the stickers that are provided in the kit, or I can just use tape, which is what I'm gonna use right now. All I'm gonna do is take this black piece and silver side down, tape it right over the camera lens of my phone. You can turn on the camera in order to make sure that the piece isn't actually blocking anything, and I'm gonna tape it down. So the black magnetic piece is taped to the camera on my phone, right here, and it's pretty secure. It's magnetic, so that means I literally just have to put it over the fold scope and it connects. So now this is magnetically connected to my phone camera. If I turn on my phone camera now, it's like I'm looking into the microscope. You can still, as you're holding it, you can hold your phone with one hand and move and adjust the microscope image with the other hand. So now in my phone, you can see part of the image on the microscope. Now I might have to adjust it a little bit with this hand and I might have to focus it left and right, but all in all, it looks like I can find my sample. And of course, I can zoom in to see more detail move back and forth in that direction. So I can see, oh look at that image, really detailed images of the fur and rhizome. And always hold it up to the light for the best image, which I can't necessarily do here. Yeah, so that's how you look at an image through the phone. You could always press a little harder or pull back on it a little bit to get a better focus. And you can move the microscope up and down to adjust your image. Look at that, it's much more focused. All right, and that's how you attach a fold scope to the phone. Okay, so those are the basics of using the fold scope. Remember, because these are made of paper, they're a little bit fragile, so you might need to tape some. I ripped it while I was building it, so I had to tape it. Um, but considering that they only cost a few dollars, I think it was a great investment, and I'm kind of excited that we are going to learn how to use these this year. All right, so thanks for watching Science Corner with Constantine. Um, if you're from the Foldscope company, please feel free to contact me. I would love to negotiate a sponsorship or partnership of some way because this is really, really cool, and I'm excited that my students are going to be able to use it. When your school is through a computer screen, get creative with your microscope purchases.